What is more suitable in a multi-storey house? Evaporative cooling or reverse cycle air conditioning? For both reverse cycle and evaporative cooling, it's important to design the system suitable whatever house you're in, whether it's a multi-storey home or a single storey home. And they both have different requirements for the air volume that you need to, to drive through the system for the system to be effective. Um, for evaporative cooling, you need more air to drive the air out. So you're looking for sort of eight to 10 air changes an hour, as opposed to uh, five or six air changes an hour for reverse cycle air conditioning. So it's a lot more air and you've got a lot bigger duct and a lot bigger outlets. So the whole design of the system is different. So it's not so much whether it's single storey or multi-storey, it's about designing the system, whether it's reverse cycle or whether it's evaporative cooling, appropriate to the home.